Okay, so let's go ahead and make a really super simple voting scratch program. So when I click on this little guy, bark. he barks and the dogs get a one little vote up here. And if I click on this little guy, bark. the cat gets a vote and it just go it goes up by one. And then when I hover on them, they move just to make things a little bit more interactive for our users. And then we have like this very simple backdrop and it says, please vote. Whom do you prefer, cats or dogs? Please click on me to vote. Awesome. And so the first thing that I wanna do is X out of my Sprite Cat down here, bye-bye. And I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to make a Sprite so I'm going to go over here and I am going to choose Sprite. And then in my Sprite search bar, I'm going to go ahead and type dog. And I'm going to grab this little puppy dog because he is adorable. Okay, there he is. Now I'm going to go into costumes. So right now he has a couple of different uh, costumes. He has doggy right, doggy sit, side, and sort of the back of him. So I'm gonna get rid of these two, one, two. So what I wanna do is when somebody is hovering on him, I want him to be in one position and then when they take their mouse off, he's in the next position. So he's on or he's off, okay? So I leave these two costumes for him, puppy right and puppy sit. So he will have two when I'm hovering on him, he'll be standing, and then when I take my mouse off of him, he'll be sitting, okay? Now, let's go ahead and go into Sprite and create a cat Sprite. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Choose a Sprite, and in my search bar, I'm gonna hit C-A-T, cat. So I think, I don't wanna use Sprite cat. I'll just use cat too. And there he is. I'm going to put him right here next to, you know what? I'm going to put him underneath puppy and I'm going to move puppy up here and put kitty down here. Okay. Now I'm going to go into, I have my cat selected. I'm going to go into costumes and I am going to go ahead and right click and duplicate my kitten. Okay. So I am going to select my kitten and, um, I want to do something with the kitten. So when people hover on the kitten, maybe he'll turn in the diff in a different direction. I guess I could have just flipped him, but I'm just going to rotate him a little bit. Okay. So when they um, when they're not, or when they're selecting him and they're hovering on him, he's going to look to the right hand side of the screen, and when they're not hovering on him, he's gonna look to the left-hand side of the screen. So we have sort of an on-off for each, the dog and the cat, okay? And you'll understand more as we go along. All right, let's do some coding. So I have my puppy selected, and the first thing that I wanna do is, I wanna go to, um, when this sprite is clicked, because it's gonna be a voting game. And so that is in my yellow events and it is going to be right underneath, it's the third choice here, when this sprite is clicked. And I'll pull that over. All right, what happens when this sprite is clicked? Well, we need a variable and let's go ahead into our orange variables right here and we're going to go ahead into make a variable. And all we're going to do is, our variable is going to be called dog vote. So type in dog vote in your variable name and hit OK. And all it's going to do is, it is going to, every time we click on a dog, our dog vote is going to go up by one. And maybe we'll hear like a little barking sound. And so we know that people prefer this little doggy over this little kitty. Okay, so people are voting for the dog and not the cat, or someone will vote for the cat and not the dog. Okay, no problem. 
So what we're going to do to make the variable actually mean something is we are going to use this change dog vote by one. So every time somebody clicks this little doggy, it's going to make a vote right here. All right. First, I want it to play like a little sound, though, because that's always fun having sounds. So let's go ahead and play sound until done. Oh, that's a cute sound. That's adorable. OK, now let's go ahead. And so everybody, t every time somebody um, clicks on the dog, you'll hear that little bark. Now let's go into our controls, and we're going to make a forever loop. So I'm going to do forever. We're going to switch costume. And puppy sit. He's puppy sit right now. And then wait until, go into our control. Wait until, and let's do a touching. So when we're touching with our mouse pointer, when we're touching him with our mouse pointer, what? What's going to happen? We're going to switch his costume to puppy right and wait until it's not touching it and it's going to go back to it, to puppy sit. So we need another little piece of code here that says not. So wait until, slide this, wait until not, and we'll grab this touching again, touching. Then he's going to go back to puppy sit. So if we are touching puppy sit, then he is going to go to sort of um, stand up and go to the right. And when we're not touching him, he's going to sit. So when we're not touching him, he sits. When we're touching him, he goes up and to the right. That's just what this little forever loop does. OK, so the forever loop, what it does is when we're not touching him, the puppy is sitting. Voila! When we do touch him, the puppy stands up and he's angled to the right a little bit of the screen. So not touching, sitting. Touching, standing up. Not touching, touching. Not touching, touching. Awesome. OK? And then people are going to be voting, too. So if I click on him, he barks, and there's one more vote for the doggies. But I, I, I can hover on him, and I can point to him. That won't give him a doggy vote, and that won't make him bark. I have to click on him to hear that bark and to get the vote. OK? So now we want to do the exact same thing for the kitten. OK? And so a quick way to do this is So what I did was I sort of pulled this into my backpack, and here it is in my backpack, and then at the, which is at the bottom of my screen, and then I was able to drag it into my cat. OK, so now I see code for my dog, my puppy, and my cat. OK, so but now the cat doesn't make any sense because it has puppy code. So let's go ahead and make this make sense. Why is there a duplicate? I'll just bloop, get rid of the duplicate. OK, so just one. All right, now let's go ahead and make that variable. So I go into variables, make a variable, and I'm going to write cat vote in the new variable name and hit OK. And for, I'm going to go ahead and change this to my so that means I'm going to go ahead and instead of it being a dog vote, I'll change it to cat vote. And that just means change cat vote by one. All right, so every time I click this, the kitty um, will get a little vote right here. Now, I don't want to play my dog sound. Oh, 
Fortunately, there's a meow sound. Okay, now I don't want the um, switch costume to puppy sit. I want it to cat two and then cat three. All right, now let's check out what we have. So if I hover, he's cat two. And if I take him away, he should be cat three. Let me make sure my costumes are labeled correctly. Cat three, cat two, cat three. I know what's happening. I don't have my event. Okay, so when this sprite is clicked, when this sprite is clicked, now everything should be okay. Okay, now I'm gonna have to make sure that I put that in my directions. That you actually have to click on the sprite to vote. Okay, so now they're even. And I can hit play and open this up and see if it works. So five. Okay, so now they're moving. Now, I'm gonna definitely have to put in directions that you just can't sit here and hover and make a vote. You actually do have to click on the sprite. So I'll hit stop. And let's go into the white backdrop and that's where we'll put it. All right, backdrops. Let's just add some text here. And I don't want it to be purple. Let's make it black. And please vote. Whom do you prefer? Dogs or cats? Okay, and then I'll say please click on me to vote. All right, let's see if I can move this. I'm gonna grab my select and I'll move this like sort of down here. Okay, and yeah, 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 yeah. I don't like it how it's like right there. So I'm gonna go back to my cat. And then I'll go back to my backdrop. Maybe I put it up here. Okay. Please vote. Whom do you prefer, cats or dogs? Please click on me to vote. Okay, awesome. And let's see. Seven. Whoa. Okay, it's going up by one. This is going up by one, so let's go ahead and check this out. So, oh, my cats are losing. Okay, please vote. Whom do you prefer, dogs or cats? Please click on me to vote. Awesome!